One Owner Car Guy, oneownercarguy.com. And what I've got here today is an absolutely beautiful 2009 Bombardier Can-Am Roadster Spider. It's actually a Can-Am Spider. And they also call it a Roadster. Awesome little bike, trike. Yeah, I'm all combibulated on what to call it here. Awesome little machine, though. And I'm going to do this here once around, then I'll kind of go up close and show you any little details, flaws, and stuff like that. And you can call me up anytime. My name's Nathan. It's 406-544-6919. And that's that. Now I'm going to probably end up giving you a big walk of my shadow through this thing as, yep, as I go to the other side. So sorry about that. That's the bike, and my website, www.oneownercarguy.com, 60 to 80 pictures on there. And I'm going to go ahead and go around and kind of show you any damages, flaws, and stuff, which ain't much to talk about. Guy just put tires on it, looks like little titties everywhere, and plenty of tread. Um, they look to be just replaced not long ago. Um, underneath, and the suspension and everything, really nice. I'll show you all this in the shade. Um, I think this one will be nice for the shade. A heck of a muffler, huh? Back foot pegs and such. Kenny Powers! Well, that's your kind of once around. Seats, everything's in great condition. I'm gonna go ahead and actually push it over here in the shade because of just the different kind of light you're gonna get it in to see it. <clears throat> and I just like to show you any kind of anything with it. Um, the windshield is a little foggy. They're plastic. Um, could probably be sanded out from the inside or something. I mean, it's not bad. It's not like you actually really look through it. I think it just deflects wind and bugs up and away from you a little bit. Man, makes me miss my Harley. That's all there is to say about it. And these would be probably be a little bit more reliable on the cross-country trip and stuff than my old Harley. And do a lot better on fuel. But, well, that's the deal. Beaglespocket.com. I hear them growling over there. And I'm going to get this thing pushed over here in the shade, and we will show you that here in a second. It is a beautiful trike bike. Reverse trike! There you go. Well, look at that front end. Just bad as can be. Super cool. Well, thanks for watching. Have a nice day or night, and I'll be right back here in the shade. Oh, man, there's some unique cars around here. I mean, that's all there is to say about it. But we're here for the Can-Am. And I've got it pulled over here in the shade. Beautiful trike, bike, reverse trike, roadster. Can-Am Roadster, yes sirree. Spider Roadster. Why call it a spider? I guess because it ain't got no top on it. Of course it ain't got no top on it. That'd look funny. Look like a little Amish buggy. Well, cool, cool bike. And I'm just gonna do another once around. You know, the different things I film, it's harder to do some things than others. And you just wonder what to show people, what's going to look good, and what you got to do in the video. And this is one of these things. I mean, there's no interior on it, you know. I'm used to showing the interior. So, I'm going to give you some different views here in the shadowy light. Disc brakes. Yeah, buddy. This thing is bad to the bone. And it's a very nice bike. And like I say in another video there, almost brand new tires. Kendra radial, it says. Whatever that is. And I've got these kind of loose here to where I can take them off and show you something. Um, it's a project bike. Um, and this here is a little teeny bit faded. Not a lot, just a teeny bit faded. Turn it on and everything flips around and checks out. Before operating, read safety card above. And actually, then press M button. There's your safety card. Tells you how to run it and all. 84 degrees out, yes sirree. Nice. And you got the flip up flip down brake ABS fault so there's an ABS fault 
and you got a warning light here and it needs park brake um, our trip 365 there is 34,000 on it and that's what happens when you press start and I'll show you where it needs to work here actually I'm gonna once around it again make sure I've showed you everything kick out page yeah Trent let's take the side off here and you pop this seat like that yeah and it just comes up pretty pretty under there the side fairing we're gonna take off here to show you I don't think it's really ever been apart a little chip of such there nice fender I like the way these are set up it's in great shape Rotax 990 some kind of little air airplane motor or something I think there's your VIN sticker and such. Made in Canada. Canada? Is there a little. Huh? Hey, does this open? This opens. This has to open. This is like a saddlebag or something. Ha! <laughs> Not only that, I got a dime! I'm trying to read the date here. 2006! Come on! We want silver! Well, that was a pretty good guess there. Okay, well, I'll show you. You know what? I'm going over here now. That's all there is to it. Here's your owner's manual. Tell you all about this thing. And here is a shop manual. And like I say, this one had a little issue. And I'll show you all about that. And the shop manual here could come in real handy. Um, what's this? What is this? Coyote. Powerhouse. Parking brake. 119. Bombardier. Parking brake. 170, 215. Huh, interesting. Well, there's some repair orders for you. And original manual and shop manual. And let's get back over here and show you this. Now, <clears throat> here's what, look at that motor. Mm, buddy. Now, you might not get to see these on most bikes because people probably won't take that fairing off there to show you. Um, this one spun the belt off. And I'm going to show you this. This piece is bent. And when I take this off here, it's gonna make it a little harder to have that belt be tensioned on there. Especially with, you know, I'm gonna need help with this camera. Doing it with one hand just don't work. You need the two hands there. Okay. Look at the ball bearings in there, all busted around. The shaft is just slightly bent. And you can see there ball bearings. Now if you take this to um, uh, Bombardier, uh, Bombardier? Can-Am. Yeah, take it to Can-Am, a dealer. They must be the Bombardier dealer here too. Hmm. Well, you take it to them, they wanted um, a couple grand because you got to actually pull the motor out to get to that shaft. Um, so we're going to stick it back on here. And that's where I get faced on these is, hang on, let me get this, there we go. It's like a slot machine, you know, and I could keep doubling down, doubling down. I'm gonna get out of his way here where this is easier. Oh, it slipped off in the back. Awesome belt drive. I'm used to my old shovel head with a tra chain drive, but, um, and yeah, we didn't wipe that out because we didn't know how to open it till just now. How do we not know how to open it? We found a fuse box. Hmm. Wow! What's that? 
Holy smokes! One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com, and we got it put back together. And I'm gonna go ahead and do another walk around. Got the seat up, got the hood up that I didn't even know it had. Just kind of had an idea that it might have it. And just seemed like that. What a sweet little trike bike. Trike bike! Reverse bike. A bike sexual. Hey! That might be what it is. It don't know. It's not. It's kind of both, man. Well, cool stuff. And really neat with that trunk up there. That's a neat option. You got your factory toolkit, too. Beaglespocket.com for all your cute little beagle puppies. I actually started to do this video. It's complete, too. What's that? Speed sensor. Well, I don't know what that is. Huh. Maybe somebody will tell me. Cool stuff, though. Screwdriver you put together. Special tool. And yeah, it's all here. So that's your tool kit. I'll put that back in here. Just kind of lay it here for now. It actually goes in a little special wire up in there. Wire thing goes around it these wax or something on it there oh there was a little scratch right there and a little couple chips right there smudges from where we took it off of course beautiful bike and it has them couple faults that I showed and we'll go over this again wow the degrees have went down nine degrees with that Sun going down breeder Park brake. Well, I know the park brake one. It's kind of planned here. Park brake. Transmission. You've seen that one. I missed the first part. And it's that shaft there. There's the brake off. Check transmission. See, because we can't get the. Um, <clears throat> It's a shaft, and we can't get it to switch because it's got a um, code to take it to the dealer. It's in limp mode, <clears throat> if that makes any sense. So it's in limp mode. Now I'll change the bottom stuff there. But when you push start, I'll do it with it. you watching that. Wow, that time it didn't reset it the way it usually does. ABS fault. Oh, that reset it. Wow, they rev a long ways, don't they? I didn't know that. Okay, well. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Ah, it didn't stick. Because I took it off, actually. That's what she said. Well, that's your Can-Am. And I don't know, you know. What is this? Oh, just grease on it we got on it while we were putting it back on um, beautiful bike and what a look if you're looking for one it's a light project that you ain't gonna find nothing that's new like this it's just something you can tinker on and get to be what you want it's cheap cheapest one out there I'll save you big money check my website oneownercarguide.com and on there you can see 60 80 pictures and lots of other unique stuff that I sell and I don't know I like these. I think they're cool. And yes, I do think I'm Kenny Powers when I sit on it. So that's that. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. Nathan, 406-544-6919. You can reach me absolutely anytime. If I ain't up, I ain't going to answer.